Yes, it's that time again. DJI have given us a new version of their flight app. This is 1.13.8. They've also given us a new firmware update for the DJI Mini 4 Pro and the DJI RC2 controller, which contains some updates that could potentially affect you. So let's get into it. So first of all, this update is available for mobile phones. It's available for the DJI RC2 controller. And as it currently stands, it is not yet available for the DJI RC controller, which is compatible with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Now this is version 1.13.8. And of course, if you are on Android, you just need to update it within the app, or of course, go to the DJI download page. If it's iOS, you just go to the app store and download it that way. Or of course, if you have the DJI RC2, to when you first turn it on if you are connected to wi-fi you're going to see there is an update available this is firmware and a firmware update for the mini 4 pro all bundled together with a new version of the dji fly app 1.13.8 now one thing you may notice when you turn this controller on and you see the update is it is absolutely huge this is 1.6 gig combined and the update for this is 1.2 gig alone so just to be aware it is going to take a fair bit of time to get these updated and basically, if your uh, controller does what mine does during this update and gets stuck at around 86%, don't worry, it will update, it hasn't frozen, just keep with it and it will update eventually. Now in true DJI fashion, if we look at the release notes on iOS, it is pretty bland and doesn't really tell us anything. But of course, when we do look at the update page on the DJI RC2 controller, it tells us a little bit more. As you can see, it is telling us there is an update to the transmission systems for various countries. Now, of course, because DJI have not really given us much information, we have to speculate on what that might be. And I do actually have an idea. You see, when the DJI Mini 4 Pro launched, it gave us OcuSync 4 technology. And bundled into the OcuSync 4 technology was the amazing ability to fly on that 5.2 gigahertz transmission. Now, one of the huge benefits of that 5.2 gigahertz frequency is the fact it gives us so much better signal in high interference areas, as I've just mentioned. But unfortunately, not everybody saw the benefit. It. This is because that 5.2 gigahertz frequency was only allowed to be broadcast in certain countries. And given the fact that DJI haven't actually gone into the detail of exactly what this uh, update actually means or the implications of the wording, this is just generally what my thoughts are. So this could potentially be huge because whilst the traditional 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz frequencies certainly do a great job on the DJI Mini 4 Pro, really the 5.2 gigahertz is a game changer. So how will you actually know you are getting that 5.2 gigahertz frequency then? Well basically if you go into the DJI Fly app, hit those three dots and pop into the transmission tab and we scroll down, you will see that 5.2 gigahertz band now, despite what you've seen already, you're going to want to know if there is anything new for the DJI Mini 4 Pro or indeed any of the other drones I've tested. And unfortunately, from what I can see, to see if there is anything new and I cannot find anything. I've also been out flying the DJI Mini 2. Yes, an old favourite, just to see if there is anything new with that drone or to see if everything is working correctly. And I can 100% tell you it is absolutely hunky-dory, working absolutely fine. I did a few tests with return to home i did a few test testing quick shots and i can confirm everything is fine so what i'm going to do now is just go for a flight with the dji mini 4 pro because of course there has been a firmware update and the update to the rc2 controller just to make sure everything is working as it should now it is pretty windy so i'm expecting at some point we will get some wind warnings but what an absolutely stunning location to go for our flight let's just gain a little bit of altitude i don't fancy testing the obstacle avoidance today as you can see just how much the uh, wind is blowing those leaves you can tell it is pretty windy so let's just gain a little bit more altitude so you can see exactly where i'm flying basically this is where i live these are a bunch of uh, mixture of horses and cows in this field um um do like taking the dog for a walk through here um, but as you can see uh, the drone is performing exactly as it should some nice boats just at the end of here and at some point i am 100 percent going to buy one of these and have a mooring just outside my house so what we're going to do is of course let's just take a nice little top down shot if we can there we go let's just get into position oh little twitch 
where the drone, I mean, if we look at that look, the drone is getting absolutely battered in the wind. Let's quickly take our photo, get a bit more altitude to try and get as many in the shot as possible. There we go, we'll take our photo. And let's just pop into the gallery. There you go, as you can see, it's right there. So let's just, of course, just lift the gimbal up. Oh god, it really is getting battered by the wind. Uh, very, very interesting. Tell you what we'll do, is because it is getting battered so much. Look at that look, we're really struggling to make headway. Just pop that into sport mode. We're still only getting 6.2 meters per second trying to get home. So what I'm going to do is just lower the altitude. There you go, and as you can see we'll get a bit more speed, because of course guys, if you don't know already, the higher you are, the more affected by the wind you are, so it's always better if you are struggling against the wind to just lower the altitude a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is just go into safety, and then I'm just going to play with my return to home altitude. Uh, it's at 60 metres already, I don't want it much higher than that. Okay, so let's just lower that down. There we go, 50 metres will do, because of course we don't want it going any higher if it is struggling with wind. Let's just execute a quick return to home, make sure it's going to uh, do that and work as it should. As you can see, it's not getting much speed. Yep, going pretty slowly at 7 metres per second. Big gust there. But what we can do is we can actually push forward on the sticks and try and get a little bit more momentum. But as you can see, it's not making a huge amount of difference um, because, of course, it is so windy. But, of course, this DJI Mini 4 Pro is absolutely fantastic. So, as you can see, it is managing to make its way already home. A couple of metres, a couple of hundred metres left to go. I do wish you could yaw, which you basically move the camera around or move the direction of the drone whilst you was actually flying. It used to be a real cool feature on some of the other DJI drones to get some really uh, cool shots whilst taking the manual flying out of it. But the DJI Mini 4 Pro does not let you do that. It's a bit of a shame, um, but you know we won't complain too much because it is a fantastic piece of kit. So as you can see, uh, we're just flying above our home point now. And I can physically hear the drone. Just above me. There we go. Right, so of course that has managed to get us back. So what we'll do is we'll literally just come back out of that. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll gain a bit more altitude. Absolutely stunning location. And if we just zoom in. That over there is Beverly Minster. Um, a lovely uh, church. Once again, a very stunning location. So let's just try and execute a little quick shot. Okay, and of course what you don't realise is we don't need to lock onto something um, significant. We can just pretty much lock onto anything when you're executing a quick shot. You know, I could just drop a random box on this and it will do it, absolutely no problem at all. Let's just give that a go. One thing that really does annoy me about this RC controller is the fact that the voice is not in sync with the countdown. Um, it's much more behind the voice. Just something that little sort of bugs me, but you know, we won't complain too much, as I've already mentioned. The drone has executed that quick shot perfectly fine, and it's just going to head back to the home point. I think it's struggling a little bit there. All good fun. So what we'll do is we'll just take another snap, go back to our photo, since it's such a lovely area. Actually, should we make it a panner? Yeah, let's make it a, let's make it a panner shot. And let's make it, yeah, a full sphere. I think that will do. So let's go ahead and click start. So that's our sphere all completed. Let's just pop into our gallery. Yes, we can do that while the drone is in the air. Let's just take a little look. 360 photo viewer. There we go, look, absolutely fantastic. And if you want to see how you can post this on Facebook, I've done a full tutorial on how exactly how to do it and what you need to get it working correctly. And we'll leave a link to that at the end of the video.
But what I'm going to do is just, of course, come back out of that. And I think it's time we uh, just land the drone because we are running a little bit low on battery. 30% obviously might seem plenty. We're not far away, but ultimately we are getting battered by the wind. And I think that test of the DJI Mini 4 Pro and RC2 controller was pretty successful. So there we go, pretty successful flight with the DJI Mini 4 Pro, I think. Everything working exactly as it should. The update, although rather large, seems to be working for the DJI RC2. No particular new features on the actual version of the DJI Flight App 1.13.8. But of course, if this increased transmission is what I think it is, I could be wrong of course, but if it does enable that 5.2 GHz frequency in more countries, you can look forward to a much, much stronger signal. So that wraps up my review of the DJI Fly app 1.13.8. If you did find this video useful, please do give it a big thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithm more people just like you might want to watch this video. Subscribe if you're awesome. And until next time, see you again soon.